everyone, welcome to my channel Faith and Flower, I'm Robin. And today I'm gonna to show you my skincare routine, what I usually do in the evening, and then my morning makeup routine. And I'll share the products that I use. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. So for my skincare routine, I'm really very simple and basic. And I've tried lots of different things over the years and there are several different brands that I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed Mary Kay and several drugstore brands. Um, but the thing that I tend to go back to all the time is Clinique. And so Clinique is really the basis for most of my skincare. And I just use a few of their products and I'll show you what I've got. So to start with, actually this isn't a Clinique product, but the first thing I usually do is remove my eye makeup remover. And I shared this with you guys in my I think it was April favorites video and this is the say yes to cotton um, eye makeup remover pads and so I just take one of these pads um, and see what they look like in there um, there's quite a few in here I think 45 so it lasts me well over a month because I just use one each evening and I like them because my eyes are very sensitive and I don't want to use anything that will pull on um, my eyes. So this is great. Uh, it's one thing that I found really works and I enjoy it. And then I will wash my face um, with this Clinique. It's called Liquid Facial Soap in the Mild. And uh, I just love this. It lathers up. It really removes all of my makeup and um, it's very mild. It doesn't irritate my skin. And I think that's why I go back to Clinique every time because inevitably when I switch to a different brand, it will irritate my skin and I'll have a breakout or now that I'm older, I'm getting a lot more dry skin and I notice that when I change up to a different product, I'll have like a dry skin outbreak or even some eczema. So I don't want that. <laughs> so I stick with the Clinique. And like I said, I don't use their whole line. I just kind of pick and choose the things that I like the most. And um, this clarifying lotion is something that I've just started using again now that the weather's warmer. I don't really use it in the winter time. I just use it in the summer just to help me clear my pores a little bit from you know, the sweat and oil that kind of builds up in the summertime. And then for my eyes, I use this Oily Eyes and it's the Illuminating Eye Cream. And I have tried lots of different products for eyes as well. And my concerns are, you know, some crepiness that I have under here, um, a lot more wrinkling lately, and also dark circles and puffiness. So this seems to really combat that better than anything else I've tried. So I like this, I'm sticking with it. And then for moisturizer, well, I'll show you this one briefly. I'm not using this all the time. I kind of got out of the habit of it, but I think I'm gonna try to start using it again. Um, and it's the Rock Deep Wrinkle Serum. Deep Wrinkle Serum, <laughs> it's like a ton tongue twister. So that I use, um, I had been using on a regular basis and I kind of got out of the habit, especially when we were away on vacation. So I'm gonna try to start using this again, um, just to work on some of those areas that need a little help as you get older. And the moisturizer that I'm loving right now is this Clinique Moisture Surge. And my skin, I've always had very sort of oily skin or combination skin, but the older I get, the drier it gets. And it seems like, especially around my chin area. So I need to use something that's very moisturizing, but I don't want to use something that's really heavy or greasy. Um, so that's what I use. And to supplement every once in a while, I actually got the recipe for this. It's just coconut oil with um, some, what do you call it? Essential oils. And the, one, the essential oils that I use are, um, let's see, geranium, I just use a couple drops, and lemon, because I looked up and those are both good for sort of aging skin, and they're very nourishing for your skin, and it's okay to put that right on your face. So I got this recipe from Ashley, and her channel is called um, Till Vacuum Do Us Part, and she has the recipe for this, but it's really just melting some coconut oil, putting a little bit of essential oils of your choice. You can look up to find out whatever your skin issues are and add a couple drops. Um, and then you mix it up when the coconut oil is liquid and then it solidifies when it comes back to room temperature. And she says that she uses this all over her face. She's um, quite a bit younger than I am, um, but she has beautiful skin. And so I thought I'd give it a try and I have really enjoyed using it at nighttime before I go to bed, not every night, 
but if I notice that I'm getting that kind of dry area around my chin especially again I'll use this and I haven't had any issues with it no breakouts and I love it so that's what I'm doing so that's pretty much my skincare and now I'll show you what I do for makeup so in the mornings before I start my makeup, I simply rinse my face in the shower. I got this tip from Jennifer L. Scott at The Daily Connoisseur, and what she said makes total sense to me because I'm cleansing my skin at nighttime, um, and I don't really need to do anything more than that, just to rinse it off, um, you know, get rid of the excess oils, and then I can start with my skincare, which is really basic in the morning, and my makeup, which is also really basic, and I'll show you what I do. So after I've rinsed my face, I will um, go ahead and use some more of this um, Oil-A, and it's the uh, Illuminating Eye Cream. So I'll put that all around my eye area. On any of the dry spots, I'll again use the Clinique Moisture Surge. And then the most important thing I do, oops, is my sunscreen. So I mentioned this before, I had it in one of my favorites videos, the April favorites, and it's the Super City Block from Clinique. It's oil free and it's a 40 SPF. And I love this because it's tinted and Clinique also recommends using it as a primer. So I do that instead of a primer all over my face. And on my neck and chest area, I've been using this um, CeraVe. It's a um, ultra light moisturizing lotion and it has an SPF of 30. So um, I can get that for you. That I will use all on my neck and my chest area, anywhere that's exposed. And I, I use this instead because it's a little bit lighter and it doesn't have a tint to it. Um, so I don't have to worry about it getting on my clothes. Um, not that I've had a problem with the Clinique, but I just use this instead. And then for foundation in the winter time, I am always using this Clinique Even Better Makeup. And it also has an SPF. But it, for me in the summertime, I like something lighter um, and I don't really need a lot of coverage. So what I've been using is this Tarte Cosmetics. Um, it's their Moroccan, I think it's, what is it called? Um, Amazon Clay, that's what it is. Amazon Clay and I have the Fair Light Neutral shade. And so what I do is I have one of these big Kabuki brushes and I just, it's got like a little net in there. You just swirl your brush around and you know get it evenly all over your skin and I actually skipped a step step because before that I do use um, this Clinique and I think it's called like airbrush or something I'm sorry I don't have my glasses on so it's hard for me to read um, but this is the concealer that I use from Clinique and um, I use the light tint and I will put that under my eye and on any blemishes that I might have. And what I blend it with is this brush from IT Cosmetics and it's like a feathering, I think it's even called like a concealer brush or something, but I just blend this all around and um, I like the way it works. I was using something like a beauty blender, but I felt like I was wasting a lot of the product on that. So like this instead. And then for eyes, I use the, um, this is the only one that I use, and it's the Urban Decay Basics Naked 2 palette. I'll show you the colors. They're super neutral, because that's really all I like to use. I don't like a lot of color on my eye. And they're also matte, which is really important to me because I have, as I get older, a little bit more crepiness around my eyes, and I feel like whenever I use something that's got a shimmer to it, it just draws attention to that. So I really like the matte. And let me show you the little trick that I use for my eyeliner. So I don't like using an eyeliner pencil. I'm just not very skilled at getting a nice line. And I also feel like it pulls at my eye no matter what type I've tried. So if you guys have a recommendation, I might give it a try, but I like this method. So I take my um, darkest shade here and I wet this little brush. This is from um, Bare Minerals and I got the idea because I used to use some Bare Mineral products and this is what they do. So I wet this little brush and I, you know, get it loaded up and I line the top of my eyes. And I don't line my lower eyes just because with my eye shape, I feel like it makes my eyes look smaller when I do that. So I just do the top. 
I'm no expert. This is just what I've tried and what I like. And then I always curl my lashes. And the mascara that I use is also by Clinique and it's the Chubby Lash. And this is really great. I think it's very buildable. I can do a few coats and get nice coverage. And I've tried using false lashes every once in a while and they're kind of fun for special occasions, but I, it's just not me. So I don't do that on a regular basis and I like this Chubby Mascara. It works great, that's what I do. For my eyebrows, <laughs> I use this Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. And I do like it because it's, this is in the Auburn shade. This is the liner on one side and it's very, very fine. And so I can use this to, you know, kind of feather in, fill in any areas. And then the little spoolie brushes on the other side. I can go back over and get that in. And I've also tried lately, but I'm not really great at it. I just kind of stick with it because I think, I think it's a good product. I'm just kind of learning how to use it. And it's the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. And so it's just like, kind of almost like a, spoolie-ish brush that you can use if I just want to define them even more. Um, but like I said, I'm just kind of learning to use this one. I'm not really sure if I like it yet. And then for blush, I always use the Tarte Cosmetics blushes. And I have a few different shades. These came in a pack and these were the two that I really like. Um, but the one that I use almost every day is this flush. And I'll show it to you except that I think I'm almost out of it, but <laughs> it's a real, it looks very, very pink on here. Um, but for me, it's a good shade because I am very fair skinned and I have some like pink undertones to my skin. So this is a color that works well for me. And then on my lips, the thing that I'm loving and that I've used for a very long time now is this um, lip balm. It's like a, uh, it's called Nude Balm and it's by L'Oreal. And it's kind of like a tinted lip balm. This is the color that I've got. And it's like a, it looks much darker than it goes on because it's a balm, it's rather sheer. And um, the color is, hang on, I'll tell you. It's Plush Plum. So I just feel like it's a great color for my skin tone and it seems to go with most everything. So that's it for my makeup. It's super simple and like I said, I'm no expert. But if there's something that you'd like to try, um, I'll try to link most of the products that I can find in the description box below. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Thanks so much for watching.